All right, hello everyone. We are going to be making a coil pot today using Model Magic. Now, um, Model Magic is something you can get at a lot of craft stores. Um, places like, you know, your Walmarts and your Targets have it too sometimes. But basically, Model Magic is a, a type of clay. It doesn't have to go in a kiln. It's, um, it's made so that it just dries. And as it dries, it gets hard. Um, it's kind of a squishy, foamy hard. It's not a rock hard like other types of clay. But we're gonna use it to make this rainbow coil pot. And you'll notice that I actually only have white. And that's okay, I'm gonna show you how to color the clay as part of this. Now you want to have about two, I would say almost maybe kiwi sized pieces. Um, to use for this. Now, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is make the base. You'll notice that's a circle. So you're gonna split both of these kiwi size pieces in half. So you're gonna pull them apart. I usually kind of dig my fingers in a little and then yank it. Um, and then one of these pieces is gonna be the base. The other three we're gonna use to make the coils. So when you do this, you wanna roll the base into a ball and you can do that in your hands or some people like to do it on the table and roll in a circle. You just wanna press down because then it'll get smushed like a pancake. You wanna be kind of gentle. It's more about how many rolls you do, not how hard you press. Um, you wanna get it pretty smoothed out and then you're going to press it flat and I use the palm of my hand, not my fingertips for that. I'm gonna press it down. Now, obviously the bigger, more spread out it is, the wider the pot's gonna become, but you don't wanna get it too thin. So I always say kind of thick like a cookie. Or it kind of reminds me of a chocolate chip cookie. So once you have that done, you can kind of put that aside. And then you have these other three pieces. And these other three pieces, we actually need to split in half because we need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, our rainbow colors. So I'm gonna take each of these three and I'm gonna split them in half, close to the middle as I can. All right, so now I should have six pieces. I don't have any leftovers, okay? We don't want leftovers because then we're gonna get a really small pot. So you're gonna be using Corolla markers or whatever washable marker you have at home. And you're gonna use these to color the clay. So you're just gonna kind of dab them all over the clay. It's not gonna hurt your marker at all. Um, if you do both sides, you're probably gonna get a little bit better color than if you just do one side. Um, obviously, it is a little bit wet when you put it on there, so it can kind of come off on your fingers or on the table, but it's washable, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So you're gonna do that for each of your colors and you're gonna dab them on. And if you find that you, you want them to be a brighter color after it's mixed, then you can do that. Um, you can go back and add as much as you need to to get it right. Um, I'm just gonna do it the one time so my colors are gonna be kind of lighter and that's okay. And then just make sure that <clears throat> when you mix it, you mix it all the way. And I'll show you in just a second here how to mix it. Just gonna get a little bit more going here. All right, so I've got my green. Next up is my blue. And I'm actually keeping these in rainbow order. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. All right, and you can see that got on the table a little bit, no big deal. The darker colors kind of show up a little bit more. And then my last one is violet. Now, <clears throat> if you feel like it's getting on stuff and you wanna wipe your fingers, you might get like a wet paper towel to use while you're working. All right, so now that I have all of my pieces colored, I am gonna start mixing. So to do that, you actually just kind of keep folding it and once you fold it, it starts to sort of blend together. And it will get lighter as you go, obviously. Uh, I said already, you can add some more if you feel like it's too light, but you just wanna keep folding it until it looks like it's all the way mixed, okay? So fold a lot. And then after you've done this to all your pieces, you're gonna be ready to make them into coils. Now, um, when you're making coils, it's gonna be really, really important that you have a nice flat workspace. Um, and it's also gonna be really important that you're not pressing down. It's really not good when you're making these coils that we're gonna make to press down. Because if you press down really hard, just kind of like get a, like a, almost like a flat feeling to it and then you can't roll it anymore. So we're gonna have to be really gentle when we're rolling these out. Kind of like when we were rolling the ball for the base. All right, so now that I've got my colors mixed up, I am ready to begin. So I'm gonna move them kind of out of the way, but I wanna keep them in rainbow order. So I'm gonna 
kind of line them up over to the side here and get my workspace ready. And I'm gonna have my first one ready to go, which is my red. So it helps if you give it kind of a little start. I always just kind of squeeze it in my hand and get it kind of spread out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use mostly the palm of my hand and very gently roll it back and forth until I get it rolled out. I want it to be about as thick as a pencil. Oops, I picked up a little bit of that extra color there. So you can see right now it's a little bit thicker than a pencil and that's okay. Um, I, I don't want it any thinner than a pencil. So if it's a little bit thicker, that's okay. Um, if you have like a thicker spot, you can usually stretch it out a little if you need to, but we don't wanna pull it too thin because then it'll just fall apart. So then I'm gonna take this coil and I'm gonna put it right along the edge of the base and it might go up over top itself a little that's okay and then I'm just gonna make sure I give it a kind of a little wiggle stick there and that is that first row of my pot next is orange so after red is orange so now I'm gonna roll my orange one again want to make sure it's about the same as a pencil so if you have a pencil you might use that to check it and I am gonna always wanna make sure if I get near a thin spot, I quit rolling there. Kind of work over to the other side. Because if you roll a thin spot, it rips it right apart. So wherever I left off with the red one, that's where I'm gonna stick the next one, my orange one. And the orange one's going on top of the red coil. And coils, you can tell, are just kind of like snakes or worms. All right, give it a little wiggle stick. Make sure it's on there. There's my second row. All right, so now yellow. Same thing, roll it like a pencil. And then wherever the orange left off, that's where you're gonna add on the yellow. It looks like I had a little bit bigger piece for my yellow because it got a lot longer. That's okay. They don't all have to be the same size. It's just wherever I left off, that's where I start the next one. And I usually wanna make sure I'm keeping it right on top of the one underneath it or else my, my pot will get a little bit wobbly looking. All right, give it a nice wiggle stick there. And then I'm on to green. So you're gonna be doing this for the rest of these. Um, if you decide you want to make it even bigger, you can always make more. You could start the rainbow order again. So you could start with red and kind of add another row on and make it really tall. Um, you don't have to, but some people are interested in making them bigger. So you could do that. Now, you're gonna to have to let this dry for a few days when you're finished. Um, it usually takes two to three days to dry and you just wanna be careful that it doesn't get stuck on anything. So sometimes it's a good idea to put it um, on uh, like a piece of paper, for example, or a piece of like foil, something like that, where it's not gonna get stuck onto the surface of a table or a shelf. All right, so I add my blue where the green stopped and then I just have my purple to finish up. So once that last one's on, if that's where you're gonna stop, I would do kind of a, a quick check um, you can see like it helps if I kind of straighten my sides out a little if I look at it from the side if I've got any wobbly parts um, and then let me get my last one on here and then on the top you just want to kind of make sure that the end sort of gets pushed down onto the one underneath it so it's not sticking up <clears throat> so let me get right in here kind of add this last one on the ends of this one got a little bit thin but that's okay all right so kind of where this end is right here you want to actually sort of get in there and kind of press that together real good so that it stays down all right so I'm just kind of working now to sort of straighten it up might give it some real gentle sort of pinches on the side to kind of straighten those edges and there you have it a rainbow coil pot all right I hope you have fun